In this video, we will be creating fillets, chamfers, and revolves. I'm going to start by creating some shapes, and then chamfering some, and adding fillets to others. After we do that, we will create some revolves as well. I've selected my top plane, and I'm going to hit sketch. This will populate the top plane into our sketch plane field. Additionally, I'm going to click on the top button so that orthographically I'm looking at the top of my uh, sketch plane. I'm going to create a center point rectangle, clicking and releasing, and then left clicking again. Notice that our values are um, just random values that we dragged out. If we would like to dimension these, and I think I will, I'll click the dimension button, tool, left click on an edge and release, and then just drag your cursor up and left click again. Enter a value of three, left click and release, left click again. So we have a three by three square. At this point our sketch is done and we'll hit the check mark. Flip this to isometric mode, select my sketch, and hit the extrude button. Let's make it a cube. So 3x3x3. Three by three by three. And our cube is finished. Notice that our front plane and our right plane are kind of cutting our object up. If we just toggle these little eyeballs, we can hide those planes. This gives us a bit of a cleaner look. Holding down, the middle mouse button will let us pan our shape as well. Kind of drag that left and right. We will now add fillets as well as chamfers. We'll start with fillets. There's really two variables that we need to worry about. Number one is the radius, and the second one is this, these entities to fill it. We can select one of two things, edges or faces. If we select edges individually, each edge will become filleted and it'll give us a preview of those. Let's maybe increase this value to 0.35 so that it looks a little bit larger. So we can select individual edges. Hitting these X's will remove those selected features. Or we can just select a face and then all adjacent edges that make it up will be filled in. When we're finished, we can hit the check mark. Let's rotate this to the bottom, and we will not fill at this, but we will chamfer. Chamfers work very similar. We can either select an individual edge or an entire face. Selecting a face will chamfer all edges of that face make them a little larger and hit the check mark. So here is our first shape. We have chamfered the bottom and we have put fillets on the top of it. I like how that looks. Let's switch back to isometric mode. And let's also view our front plane. Next I will create a revolve and I will do that on the front plane. So let's hit sketch. It populates our front plane as the sketch plane, and let's select the front face of our view cube. I'm trying to just think about what this uh, little gizmo in the corner is called. So we're sketching on our front plane. Um, notice that our sketch plane is kind of below the front plane. It doesn't really matter. The, we can sketch off of our sketch plane. I'll start by creating an axis. Notice that as I drag my cursor up, if I move it to the left and to the right, right in the middle, a small black line appears below my cursor and to the right. Um, that's an indicator that we are orthographic. We're drawing a perfectly vertical line. This is going to be part of my object as well as the axis that I revolve it around. going to begin to shape 
a very basic uh, candlestick. We might even fill it or maybe chamfer some of these edges later. I believe it's escape when we are done. Notice that this highlights blue. That's good. That's showing us that this is an enclosed region um, that is a workable sketch. I'm going to make the spot for the candle right now as well. We're getting a lot of overlapping lines and extra little lines. These are unnecessary and also will break our sketch. So we need to get rid of these. Let's go into our trim feature. It's the scissors. Hover on the line we want to get rid of and left click. Hover and left click. We'll just continue to left click on the entities or portions of the line that we want to get rid of. That looks good. We'll hit the check mark. Next, I will select sketch two. Notice that this highlights gold. If yours doesn't, there's an issue with it. I would say start over with your sketch. With the sketch selected, we'll click Revolve. The face that we want to revolve has been populated into this box. The next thing we have to do is select the Revolve axis. That will be this vertical line. Notice that immediately our Revolve has been created with the little hole up top for our candle. And we can hit the check mark. At this point, I think I would like to Add some fillets, select this bottom edge, 0.15. Pretty slight fillet down there. I might fillet this edge as well. This is going to be like a positive fillet. for those edges. And then maybe one last fillet. Maybe this one will be a little larger. So here is my candlestick that's been revolved, chamfered, and filleted. And then here is my initial shape that has been filleted on the top and chamfered on the bottom.